Welcome to our channel. Today we're remembering some of the Hollywood actors who have had a great impact on the entertainment industry but unfortunately left us early. In this video, we'll take a look back at the lives and careers of actors such as Paul Walker, Natasha Richardson, and Patrick Swayze and explore the lasting legacy they have left behind. Although they are no longer with us, their performances and contributions to the industry will continue to be celebrated and remembered. Join us as we pay tribute to these talented individuals. Paul Walker Born and raised in California, Walker began his acting career with a guest appearance on the television show Throb. He then went on to star in many films, including the cult classics Pleasantville and Varsity Blues. However, it was his role in the Fast and Furious franchise that truly made him a household name. The franchise, which began in 2001, catapulted Walker to international fame and cemented his status as a rising star in Hollywood. Unfortunately, Walker's career and life were cut short on November 30th, 2013, when he died in a tragic car accident. At the time of the crash, he was a passenger in a Porsche Carrera GT driven by his friend Roger Rodas. The car hit a tree and caught fire, and both Walker and Rodas were killed. Walker was 40 years old at the time of his death. Natasha Richardson Natasha Richardson was a talented actress with a long history in the film industry, having come from a family of actors. She made her acting debut at the age of four in the film The Charge of the Light Brigade. However, it was her portrayal of Susan in the beloved Disney classic The Parent Trap that made her most famous and established her as a rising star in Hollywood. Throughout the 2000s, Richardson consistently delivered powerful performances in various films and stage productions, earning critical acclaim and accolades. In addition to her successful acting career, Richardson was also known for her personal life, particularly her marriage to fellow actor Liam Neeson. The couple met in 1993 while working on the Broadway production of Anna Christie, and they were married in 1994. They had two sons together, Michael and Daniel. Tragically, Richardson passed away on March 18, 2009, at the age of 45. She had fallen during a ski lesson and hit her head on the way down. She was rushed to the hospital, where she was later pronounced dead. Bernie Mac Bernard Bernie Mac McCullough was a highly successful comedian, actor, and television host. He began his career as a stand-up comedian, performing in clubs and comedy venues across the United States. His unique brand of observational humor and storytelling quickly earned him a dedicated following, and in 2001, he landed his highly regarded television show, The Bernie Mac Show. The show ran for five seasons and earned Mac critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. After the success of the Bernie Mac show, Mac transitioned into the film industry, starring in many notable roles in films such as Bad Santa, Transformers, Friday, and Charlie's Angels. He was known for his ability to play a wide range of characters, often portraying comedic relief in films. With his unique brand of humor and storytelling, Mac was able to connect with audiences and make them laugh. Sadly, Mac passed away on August 9, 2008, at the age of 50 as a result of pneumonia complications. Patrick Swayze Patrick Swayze was a beloved actor who rose to fame in the 1980s and became one of the biggest heartthrobs in Hollywood. His good looks, imposing physique, and brimming bravado made him an instant sensation with audiences, particularly with middle-aged women who had a crush on him. He was known for his roles in iconic films such as Dirty Dancing, Red Dawn, and Ghost, which helped him to achieve tremendous popularity. 
Dirty Dancing, released in 1987, was a huge commercial and critical success. Swayze's portrayal of the dance instructor, Johnny Castle, was widely praised, and the film's iconic final dance scene between Swayze and Jennifer Grey became one of the most memorable moments in movie history. Sadly, in 2008 Swayze received a pancreatic cancer diagnosis, and despite his valiant efforts to fight the disease, he passed away on September 14, 2009, at the age of 57. Brittany Murphy Brittany Murphy was a vibrant and talented actress who tragically passed away before she could fully launch her career. She first became well-known for playing the role of Ty in the 1995 film Clueless, which quickly established her as a rising star in Hollywood. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, she went on to appear in many other well-known movies, such as Drop Dead Gorgeous, Girl, Interrupted, and Just Married. As her career grew, Murphy expanded her range of roles, taking on more dramatic parts and showcasing her versatility as an actress. Two examples of this are her performances in the 2002 film Eight Mile and the 2005 film Sin City, where she received critical acclaim for her work. Sadly, Murphy passed away on December 20, 2009, at the age of 32 due to pneumonia-related complications. James Gandolfini James Gandolfini was a gifted and charismatic actor known for his ability to convey a wide range of emotions with just a glance or a subtle change in facial expression. He had a physically imposing presence and his commanding on-screen presence conveyed a sense of genuine authority. Throughout his career, Gandolfini starred in many critically acclaimed productions, but it was his portrayal of Tony Soprano in the hit HBO series The Sopranos that solidified his place in the entertainment industry. The role of Tony Soprano showcased Gandolfini's versatility as an actor, as he was able to convey a complex and nuanced portrayal of a deeply flawed and troubled man, and his ability to touch every aspect of the human psyche and tug at the heartstrings of the audience. Sadly, Gandolfini passed away on June 19, 2013, at the age of 51 from a heart attack while on vacation in Rome, Italy. Heath Ledger Heath Ledger was a highly talented and versatile actor who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. His portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight was a defining moment in his career, and it is widely considered to be one of the greatest performances in the history of film. Ledger's dynamic and captivating performance enthralled audiences worldwide and earned him widespread critical acclaim and numerous awards nominations. After his passing, Ledger was posthumously awarded the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as the Joker, making him one of the youngest actors to ever win the award. This award solidified his legacy and cemented his place in the entertainment industry. Before his role in The Dark Knight, Ledger had already established himself as a talented actor in Hollywood with many notable performances. He began his acting career in the late 1990s and early 2000s and made a name for himself in films such as 10 Things I Hate About You, The Patriot, Monsters Ball, Brokeback Mountain, Ned Kelly, and Lords of Dogtown. He was renowned for his versatility in roles and his commitment to his craft. Sadly, Ledger passed away on January 22, 2008, in his apartment in New York City. The cause of death was an accidental overdose of prescription medication, including sleeping pills and anti-anxiety medication. Philip Seymour Hoffman Philip Seymour Hoffman was a highly respected and versatile actor known for his ability to take on a wide range of characters and genres. He was open to playing complex and challenging roles, often in settings and stories that were out of the ordinary. This willingness to take on diverse roles, as well as his exceptional talent and dedication, made him one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood. 
Throughout his career, Hoffman performed admirably in a variety of roles, such as a priest named Doubt who may or may not be engaging in highly inappropriate behavior toward a young churchgoer, a tornado chaser in Twister, a musically eclectic writer in Almost Famous, a baseball manager in Moneyball, Truman Capote in Capote, and even a cult leader in The Master. He received numerous awards and accolades for his performances, including an Academy Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of Truman Capote in Capote. Sadly, Hoffman passed away on February 2, 2014, at the age of 46 from a drug overdose. That concludes our video on Hollywood actors who died too soon. We hope you gained insight into the lives and careers of these talented individuals and the impact they had on the entertainment industry. Remembering them and their contributions is a reminder that their legacies will live on forever. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Also, hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more informative and entertaining videos in the future. Thanks for watching.